Hello everybody, this is Sonia. Now I'm just going to give myself a little bit of water. I know I should have done this, but I've been talking to my daughter on the phone and she's been telling me some things about the car. <laughs> the car. Yeah. She went away to visit her brother and things went wrong, but anyway, with the car. So, <laughs> I'm a bit... Um, all over the place here, but I'll I'll figure out what I'm doing. I know what I'm going to do. I want to. Oh, look here! I'll show you what I did here yesterday. See this house now? Look, this house was not quite what. If you see the video I made when I was making this house, it turned out really um, a little bit hard for me to do because when I did this, and I just stuck that there on there because I could show you underneath. When I put that stuff underneath, it was okay when I used this fine, this thinner fabric. Well, it's not really thin. But the one that I went to put on the top, the red one, was a lot thicker and it was really hard to fold around the stuff. So I ended up just turning it, I got rid of that and I just turned that one over and put that around there, see, so like this. So this is a very ordinary house because I wanted to make some wonky ones onto something. But I'm thinking I might finish stitching that down because I just put a bit of glue there. I'm thinking about finish stitching that down and turn this into some sort of a little book. Okay, so that's what you can do if you want to make a little house and put him on the front of the book. And and then I can put some more sewing around it. So I wanted to do some little, I want to do some wonky houses. I have drawn pictures of them and everything, but I've never made any. I did um, this one here. Oh, well, when I say I never made any, I've, I've done some, but not like I want what my, my vision, my vision, <laughs> what my vision is. So these little ones here I put on, on this crazy patchwork sort of crazy house sort of thing. So I don't um, know whether I'll put any more on, but I think they look really cool. And um, I haven't really sort, thought of the background. And then I did this one here that I really love this one. But I cheated with it. When I say I cheated, I cut the... That was in a piece of material, that piece of the little shed. And these were just cut out of fabric. These were on material, these um, uh, hats, and that mushroom, and that bit there was on, and there's chooks. And, these, and, and so I never did make it into anything, and I don't know whether what I'm going to do, but these are only put on there using slow stitching, and that's what I'm going to do with um, these others. Okay, slow stitching is embroidery. Okay, and it's done slowly because it's not done by machine. Okay, so um, a lot of people only just do the one one stitch, but I'd like to do a lot of different ones. A lot of ladies do do a lot of different ones. So now I'm going to make a, a wonky house. So I need a bit of, uh, so I have a bit of this, a bit of this. So I need to make, now what am I going to do? I'm going to make a picture, I'm going to make a cover. Let me see. Sounds like somebody's over there built something. I know my neighbours are getting new air conditioning put in. I just <coughs> there's a lot of going up. Now that was supposed to be straight, is it? Yeah, it looks like it's not. <laughs> I don't know. It looked a bit crooked to me. I'll just finish cutting up here. If I did wonky houses, what would I do with them? You know what I need to do? I need to do a panel that would actually just be on the front of a journal, eh? How about that? <clears throat> so say you had a journal. Well, usually I make mine about seven by five and a half so i'll put i'll do this and then i can do this will be a slow stitch wonky house thingy all right <laughs> that makes sense to you so this is <clears throat> i put this here this piece of card because the shot it's shining the thing's shining on the and it's not good it's shining on the thing the thing's shining on the thing and it isn't good so if i if say i'd had my journals at about seven inches well if I did a, um, a piece that come in probably one inch one inch that's an awful small bit I'm going to be doing isn't it it doesn't matter though I guess um, seven inches comes to here right right that's seven and then by five which I'd probably only need to do at four there well that's about good that's good isn't it so I'm going to take this down here. I hope I'm going to be able to cut it straight. It seems to be awful 
Awful wonky, doesn't it? Oh, look, I might put it on the felt. Ha <laughs> ha! This is better because this is this is wadding that goes inside. Um, not wadding, but like a, a, a felt thing that goes inside your quilts and that. So it's a little bit thick. But this piece of felt will be just right. My goodness me! It's got a bit of this on it, a bit of this. It's got pieces of fluff all over it. I promise you, it's only because been with <laughs> fluffies. <laughs> only been where the fluff is. So we've got seven by four, haven't we? Righto. So we're going to do this now. We're going to do this by, and it's not going to be seven, it's going to be, if you brought in a half inch from the top and a half inch, five and a half we're going to have. Five and a half high. Okay. Five and a half high. Keep going. Now this is cut straight because I bought you buy the piece like this. So that's flat. Make sure you get it on the halves on you. All these here are a bit confusing sometimes. I get to make a mistake. I don't want to make a mistake. Five and a half. I'm coming out this far. Five and a half. I don't need to be that far anyway. By four. Did we say four? Yeah. For the panel. For the. By four. Up there. And then I can make. A very, mm, it's going to be small. I suppose it doesn't matter. But I did just want to make a panel for the front of, of a book. Right, okay, so maybe I can do it a bit bigger. Make the book bigger. <laughs> mm. Six inches. Make it six inches. I'm really pleased I didn't cut it. Six by five, eh? That'll be better. That's awful wide. It doesn't matter. We're going to have a six by five. I want something with some sort of substance to it. I want a bit uh, size of thing. Wait a minute. Straighten up, Sonia. Straighten up. Go over there. And you go straight. I didn't even put another line. I just got that one. Is that right? Uh-huh. And for the sake of the... You, when I'm wanting to use this on it, I'm going to be... How far did I crook or did that go? Look at this. Oh no, oh, I did it right. Look, they line up. <laughs> That's a miracle. Or did they? Or did I just put them there so they lined up? Let me see. Oh no, it works. Very good. By this one up here. Okay. Be nice and straight there, Sonia. I don't, it doesn't worry me putting the um, lines all over me felt because I'm going to put something on it anyway and be covered over, won't it? I need to put that timer on. Oh dear. I just got so... I was just about to start my video and the phone rang and now it's still in here with me, isn't it? Oh, my husband might have took it out too. I hope he did because I'm going to have to ring at me again. <laughs> Oh dear, I think I gave it to him. Once, you know, years ago, you know, years ago when you first got the phone on, everybody wanted to answer it. Now everybody just doesn't want to answer Nobody wants to answer it. I don't know why, but it just, oh, I don't know. It just depends, I suppose. I don't mind getting the phone call. I just don't want to answer the phone. <clears throat> I may, because there could be a telemarketer too. That's an interesting idea. There might be one of those. So this is the size of the front for the cover, okay, for the little houses. Don't know how many houses I'm going to be able to get on here. Alright, so I need something pretty. Something pretty and I found this piece here that's got a lot of bits on it. Like different, see there's flowers and there's spots. And there's butterflies. Right. Maybe I can use the spots for part of the house. Okay. And then I've got this piece here with the check panels on it. Or I've got that. That's nice, isn't it? I do have some pretty pieces. I do have some pretty pieces. Just, um, 
Here's a good spotty one. There's a spot. <coughs> There's a stripe like the one I put on that other one there. Don't know if I need anything flowery. Unless I do the roof. This is beautiful, isn't it? And this is a bit of vintage. Very good vintage piece that I could probably get a house out of. That bit there. Right oh. This is a tablecloth. Um, retro tablecloth from back when I was <laughs> in my younger day. I don't think it belonged to us. It didn't belong to us though. It was just in some things that I purchased. I bought it because I really, really like it. Oh yeah, look at this. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut this and then tear it because it does tear. I, I think it does. Let's see, sucker, tears really good because it's um cotton and it's oldish. I think it's the oldish. Oops, that went the wrong way. <laughs> I was gonna get, wanted it to go the other way. Let's try that again. Make the tear a bit longer this time. There we go. Oops. It's doing that, I suppose, because of the way that it's cut. <laughs> right, now. That was my ruler there. Now, let me see. What have I got else to go with that? Uh, yes. Okay. I need a background. I need a good background. Put on the to put the houses on, don't I? So unless I make them first, I'm, I'm, I'm heading towards these check things and spot things and stripe things because I think they look good. And this other one here, I don't know. All I've got to do is figure out how to make a wonky one. I don't know. Put that one over there. I'll have a bit of this. This is off a um, Duna cover. Really nice, eh? Hey? It's brand new. People just don't keep things out these days, do they? It's just easy enough, easy to put them in the bin. I think they put just put things in the bin or send them to be repurposed, and that's what we can do with them, can't we? For our um, slow stitching and some things like that. Uh, what can I put on the background? Um, might do this one. This will be nice. I think this will be a good background for it. The green, don't you? I do think so. I will have this piece of green as a background piece. <coughs> right this could take a little while to me, for me to make this because. Um, I don't know whether it might come together really fast. You never know, do you? Could be, could be really good and quick. I just cut this bit off here, and I'll tear this bit down here. And it's really good piece because it's got flowers and things on it, hasn't it? Oh, this not straight. Ah, <laughs> Sonia. Oh dear, oh dear. Well, I can't put that on there if it's not straight. And this is not working for me either. Look at that. It doesn't, fix, doesn't fit over the ends. <laughs> what have I done? Here's more. Get a piece that... Um, this is not going to work. I'm trying, not, I'm trying to get a bit without the creases in it. You know, that's shocking, isn't it? I'm too lazy to iron. I've got to be honest with you, though. I don't want to iron it. I'm going to use this bit here. And I'll have some sort of a edge around it when I'm finished. <coughs> That'll help with what I want to do with it, won't it? Right, so I'm going to do, use this as the background. And just for starting up sake, I'm just going to put some glue on this piece here. Uh, there. And then I can just leave it until 
hope this is undone. Okay, good. Come on, have the come out, please. And the side panels, I'm not going to worry about too much because I'm going to actually put a trim on it, like I said. But I'm going to want to stick this up here so we can get a bit of a start. It's the day before the time runs out. Now, when you're put, putting this down, I don't need to. I don't need to glue it underneath. Might have to go out a bit, would I? I don't need to glue it underneath because I'm going to be stitching through the whole lot, so it's not going to come apart or anything. <coughs> I'm going to put this down the bottom, which that bit there's crooked. should be here sometime today I hope there we go <laughs> got it <laughs> there's a bit on there's a bit of glue on there and when you're doing this make sure you're not puckering it up making it too you know like pulling this up too far so it'll bunch it all up make sure it still stays nice and flat like that and it has got a little bit of a um, what's the name crease in there but that's okay I know so So this is not, usually when people are doing slow stitching they put a background on here that that um, is all different patches, put it together and make it nice. This is, I'm going to just be putting the houses on here aren't I, so that'll be still making it nice. Right, so I want to have, that's not very far from the colour is it, this is nice, I like this bit, this bit here with a bit of a stripe on it, that's pretty cool. We have to make him wonky, don't we? Right. Now I don't know how I'm going to go doing this with um, fabric. You're doing it with felt; it'd be fun. <laughs> fabric might be a little bit harder, but I did the other one. I did the other ones out of fabric and sewed them down fine. Just going to do blanket stitch or stab stitch around the edge of them. Might do stab stitches around them, and then could cover a lot of it with. Um, now I want to make it so it's rounded here, so I'm going to fold it in half and round the bottom off a bit. If you don't think you can cut it right, you can just put a bit of something there and draw a line. He's got, a, he's got an interesting bottom, hasn't he, really? Makes it sort of roundish looking. It's a bit big. It's a bit big yet. I'll have to come down and cut that down a bit further. We will, because he's too big. Wait a minute, another one. Take that bit off there. Righto. Now. Don't know why I wanted it rounded, but I did. I thought I was going to make it look like a sort of a rounded little house. Don't know if I can do that. <laughs> it's in my mind. That. It's a tiny bit big, I think. Got to do a roof. That's pretty cool. A roof. I'm not liking what I'm doing with the bottom bit. Might turn up that way. Looks like a door now, doesn't it? Give me something to draw on, Sonia. Give me something to draw a picture. A room full of paper. Oh, good, I found some more felt. Okay, now I'm not going to do the felt ones. I want to try and make this um, roof. I think this is going to be the roof. Okay. Do that on the back. So get a bit of a chimney up and up there. And we go around here like this bit. Bit bit a bit skew whiff. Actually that's not gonna be a chimney, that's the top of the house, isn't it? You can have a chimney out here somewhere. We just needed that to be 
I know you probably can't see what I'm doing but I'm trying to draw a roof I should have put that there <coughs> because I need this to come out here I do and around there like so not too many not too many pieces though Sonia because you don't want to have uh -huh. that bit there we're not going to use you don't want to have it um, too hard to sew I'll cut that out there and see what it looks like I hope everybody's having a good day today it's not too bad here in parks. Not too bad at all. It's not too bad. It's going to be warm. People consider it to be hot, but I don't think it is. It's only going to be 30 something, and that's not really hot. How did I work that? Was that did I work that okay? <laughs> make a little house still. We're going to keep cutting this. We're going to have nothing left in a minute. Probably should have left that fluffy side on there. Okay, it doesn't look too bad. What do you think? Right, right. Okay. Nobody wants to say. Take that off there. Why have you still got that bit? Cut it off. You want a few little houses. You don't just want one. We're going to put a few on, okay? There's one. We're not going very fast along here with this, are we? Now, we're going to put this on the window, maybe. Let's have a look and see if this works for a window. a wee bit big for a window surely is it could be the door but it's got you know <laughs> it'll work really nice on a bigger one look really good on a bigger one um, windows this is nice this little bit with the flower on it isn't it do we want a flower on the window? Don't know yet. Let's have a door out of this piece. Let's have a door out of this piece here. I hope I'm still in the shot here. I'm leaning too far up over the table, I think. As the door's a bit big. I'll have to cut him down a bit. Geez, I'm going to be able to nearly make all this out of the one piece of fabric. That's way too big, that door's on you. Way too big, the door. So we could make a some sort of a stylish door, couldn't we? Since we're going to have a, a wonky one, we'll make it like that, and over like this. Tiny little bug flying around there. Mhm. Mm bit big. Let's try and cut it down a bit. Whoops. I might leave that bit on the bottom. Let's take this down here a bit further. I suppose that's not too bad. You think it's too big? I do. Although the door comes up to the top of the house here. <laughs> you never thought of that, did we? They do too. They come up to the top of that. They don't come to the top of the roof, but they do come up, you know, to, to your ceiling there, don't they? Right. I don't mind that. That doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look too bad at all. Let's see if we can get something for a window then. We can't keep picking up the same piece of fabric. We've got we've got heaps of fabric here. Let's try and find something else. Let's try and find something else to put on it. Um, so when I get this piece, I'll just slash this, this little house on here, eh? As soon as I find some little things, I'll show you. Um, that's nice. I like the colour of this. I might just do a little window. Not don't have to do more than one, do you? It's going to be too small. Oh, I've got an idea. Hang on. I'm going to put one up there. 
Hang on, I'll cut this right back as far as I can go. Uh huh. And I'll put that up there. Right? This is not very wonky, only the roof part is so far. So we need something. This is a big window. That's a big window. There we go. Now we can stitch him on. First I'm going to use the glue. I know. I'm going to use glue stick to put him down like I did. Because you can sew through this. I've already done that. <laughs> so I know I can. Right, so let's, let's put these bits over here for a minute. I'm just going to figure out how to do it as we go along, okay? What I'm doing, I'm going to put this one down here. And look, I've made it on an angle by stretching it. <laughs> and that's okay, look, it's even turned sideways. Oh, <laughs> that's the way. <laughs> by stretching it when I was putting it on here. <laughs> I'm putting glue on it. It's stretched and it went all wonky. You need to bring it down a tiny bit, you don't want it too close to the top. Okay. Put on a put on a window in, this, in the top part of the I guess it's an attic or something, I guess. Put that up there. Put this. This bit here is nice because it's got a bit of um, thread there that it can be it's visible for texture. Good for a bit of texture. I'll just give a tiny bit of the edge there so I can just probably need to I might not need, need to sew it down. We'll see what happens. I'm just gonna do one at a time too, because I don't wanna get too carried away with too much. I think I might have needed to have a, something there, but I haven't got the idea for that yet. Now, I don't want to do it with very thick, thick um, cotton. I just want to do it with with cotton, cotton. I'll do embroidery cotton, but I'll um, only do one strand, eh? Let's do one strand. So, Sonia, you've left both your embroidery boxes, no, or two of them out there, have you? Really? Hmm. Okay, I can't reach anything anymore. <laughs> it's been um, been moved over, so I can't reach anything anymore. So let me see what. What have I got here close by me that I can use for a thread to put in that? I've got all these boxes up here. I'll just get one down. Come on, I'll get the the ruler. Get one down. It's got a little. It's got these little bits on the side here, so I could grab a hold of that. See, you know that. There's only got some browns and things in it, but that's all right because we can do with a a bit of orange. Maybe looks good. Bit of yellow. Um, maybe there's a pinky colour. There's a bit of a pinky colour there. Let's just get started with that. Let's see how we go. So we only need um, one strand. We only need one strand. So I'm going to just. Oh, I didn't bump that thing. I probably did. Now I'll be able to put one over here, one there, there, one there, and one there. So I can probably get five on here, and they'll look good. And we'll connect them with a little road or something. What do you reckon? <coughs> do you think it'll look all right? I do, and I'm excited to do it. The other one was very hard to sew because I put too much padding. There was too much thickness in it. I'm going to just go through. Uh -huh. That goes good, I think. You need a really good sharp needle. Really good sharp needle. Um, I found a box of new needles, so... And other bits and pieces that... <laughs> you know what I did? I have a... <sighs> <laughs> I have this really good nail file. It's sort of made out of... I don't know, some sort of something. It's not metal, it's some other thing. And I cost $14. I've had it for so long. 
and I've got good bits in here that I can incorporate into these houses. Um, I broke it trying to open that drawer, that box there this morning or yesterday. Not impressed at all with myself now, but for doing that. Now I've got to go and buy another one. Um, I just do have to buy another one. I'll see how this one works. This isn't too bad. Oh no, that didn't want him to push through there. That's not good. Where's the other one I had? <laughs> Gee. It sort of depends on you. This one's one of those ones you load yourself. Well, they thread themselves, they say. Load yourself. This one here. That's not bad, I guess. We'll give this one a go. It's probably the same as what those others are. I just don't know. It's just not good when you... So I've just got one strand of, the, of um, either DMC or Inca or whatever embroidery thread this is because I've just had so many over the years I can't remember what they are really. <coughs> so I'm going to put some straight some straight stitches. I might start over here first, eh? So we're going to do some straight stitching. I might leave my little house a little while just for a little minute till it just dries a bit. But I'm just going to do some up and down stitches so this is slow stitching um, with applique and I've done a bit of that before I've got a piece here next to me actually that I applique but I slow stitched it first and then I put I think I think I might not I might not have I might have to check that and see so you don't have to do the whole length but I'm just going to go down here a bit and it give it, it I like to just have it a little bit not tight, but a little bit so, so it pulls up a bit and makes it like a quilty. has a quilted effect. I'll just go to there. Don't know why, but that's just as far as I'm going. Then I'm going to turn around and go back. I'll go back that way first. I have the idea that I like them to be not so in line. <laughs> we can explain that. So there's a gap there. I like to put it in the... I like to put the stitch over opposite where the gap is. Whether I get it right like that all the time or not, I don't know. But anyway. So I like the look of this so far. So good. If you want to, you can go and you can put all your bits on, you know. But because I want to show you how I'm doing it and that it is not as hard as what I showed you yesterday. <laughs> and if you use cotton fabric, it'll work just fine. I was trying to do it with so it'd have um, oh, just good clean edges instead of having frayed edges. I don't know what the point of that was because it doesn't matter if something's frayed, it's quite good actually. So I'm going to go, what I want to do is put this around the house, okay? And then what I use in the house will be different colours but I want to do this around it. So we're not going to go through the house, we're going to go underneath underneath there. Because maybe I might put, I don't know whether to put the houses on. Now if you keep your stitches as good as you can, but you know there's no rule, so do your very just do your very best and that's all you have to do. Because if you start stressing out about it, it's not going to be no fun anymore. Ask me. <laughs> You know, you start stressing out, you got it's all all had it then. It's all gone wrong if you do that. Okay. So now I might just have a you know, I'll just start in the little house now and show you a bit of that because we don't want it you know, the video to go for too long or for me to it to turn off before I'm finished because I think I've only got a while left. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Okay, so now I'm going to need another colour because I want to put it through the house. But while I was doing that, I was thinking about something else. I'm going to show you this other one that I did when I put the applique in, if I can find it. I have a couple of piles where those things are because, and but I don't remember what I did with the other lot. Ah oh dear, it'll be somewhere. See this one here? I did the, the this flower. See how the flowers in in put on there, and I think I did it as I went. 
Is that the only one I put on there? I thought I put more on there than one. Well, I didn't, so that's a, I just put that rose on there and then I stitched it down. So that's what I'm going to do with the house. I'm going to slow stitch my house into place with another colour thread. I might use the yellow one. Shame I can't just use it. I'll thread that up again later anyway, that one. But I'm just going to put this on. I think we can see this good enough. I don't think it needs to be more than one, one strand. I think this was the second piece of slow stitching I did. The first one um, was just the pieces put together. It didn't have any applique on it or, or, or anything. Because you can put on um, applique, you can put on beads, you can put on laces. Anything you want to put on there, see? You can do them. Do the whole lot. So now I'm going to just do the roof. I'm doing it in yellow, and you can see it, so it's good. You can see the, the little stitches, and that's the idea. You want to be able to see little stitches. So I'm coming up over here, and I'm actually going to sew from the back piece here onto the house, right? Because I want it to stay in place. Um, and then I'm going to come up this other side of it and make a stitch back this way because I want to make sure that I get a good stitch size there. There we go. If you can understand what that was all about. So I'm picking it up this way and I'm taking them up this way. Right oh now. And then I'm just going to come backwards and forwards. They're only small, but the house is only small, isn't it? Maybe I'll fit three in here, I don't know. Three stitches in this bit. If I bring it down, I'm, I'm hoping I won't move out of the shot. So you can see what I'm doing. So I've got... This will be three, so I'm going to come up here and go down really close to this. So it's got it, but it's still... You know, the little stitches on it, so it still looks good. Okay. For the um, the window, I might not do this. I'll show you what I'm going to do for the window. I can just do a couple of stitches going across it, can't I? This thing's coming off the tail at me. Because <clears throat> I'm leaning on it, probably. I'm going to make sure I keep checking this to make sure I'm still in the shot. wander off into another place and hopefully Sonia will come back and do some more of these the only thing though I won't be able to come back on tomorrow I don't think because I've got I've got an appointment at the doctor's then I've got to go one day to the optometrist then I have to go <laughs> to the foot doctor on Wednesday I'm busy <laughs> it's all got to be done though because if I got these appointments, I need to take them, otherwise I'm not going to get anywhere in the next year, you know. And I avoid all them people. I suppose I shouldn't, but I just... Uh, I've got to go and dab, do this, so I'm going to do it. I'm all fine. There's nothing wrong with me. i just got to go and get some prescriptions filled and some get my eyes checked because I need new glasses. I don't know if I've had any for a while now. I can't remember. I think it said 18. I don't know. Or... 17 or something it was a minute or two ago anyway so I've got to go and do that I've got to go and have a what do they call that when they do your toenails yeah <laughs> your feet uh, anyway I've got to have that done pedicure sort of thing and because if you're diabetic you've got to have somebody do it like that so you don't in case you don't, um, I don't want to cut your feet or anything. Well, I don't mind this at all. I'm quite, I'm quite happy with this. I do like it. I'll be able to stitch away now, flat out. If I don't come back on here with something that I started, you'll know why, don't you? Because I don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> I'm not going to go there. I'm going to go here. 
sometimes I make myself too much um, too much to do and it's too, it's too complicated for me and I can't do it, you know what I mean? I think you might know there's a piece of stray thread wandering around here what's it doing in there? get out of there you here it is, look, what's it, where's that coming from? really? it's not me well it isn't this <laughs> it isn't off that it's just wandering around in here I've stitched it down because it probably blew over this way there you go, get it out of there <clears throat> okay yes I do like this, it's very pretty and it's going to be very nice when I finish it I can, sh I can show you that I think so anyway so the pieces that I'm going to come down I'm just going to go across here now for the t for these bits and then when I do that piece the window I'll come down over the so I'm going into this part and couching oh well not couching down at all I'm just putting down that bit I suppose I could do a bit of couching on here um, there's lots of different stitches. I'm gonna. I'll try and do some some stitches on here for you. I definitely think I should put some more stuff on the roof. So I might just go down here with this for a minute. I might need another flower or two. What do you reckon? Oh, I could put some. I might just do that. I'll do the. Um, slow stitching on this because I think it needs it needs it and then if I want to put something over the top of it I'll do that then okay so I'm just going across here fastening this down look these pieces are floating around here <laughs> catching on to me work that's why it's <clears throat> hopefully we can have a road do you think we can have a road I'm going to go around, um, no, I'm going to go up now, I'm going to go up here, I'm going to take it up this way. I can put it down and back but it's too hard to push through because I've got the felt ah, behind it. If you just put a piece of calico behind it, you can put whatever you want behind it, it doesn't matter. But it's good to have something behind your background to sew to. I'm just having, uh, if I'm not saying anything, I'm just doing thinking. <laughs> I'm thinking. Oh, I'm not even in the shot. Oh my goodness me, I'm so sorry. What am I doing here? Oh dear. I've got this here. Bit. Oh dear, I hope I didn't do all that without showing you. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. I won't be happy at all. Never mind, I'll see how we go, because like, like I said, I've got a few things on this week, so, and then, um, well, next week there's busy days too, but not so bad as this week. Okay, so I'm thinking about putting this over the edge here, but I'm going to take more off it. Now, this is going to be a tiny piece, this is going to be a tiny piece to put on, isn't it? Hang on to what's on you, it's gonna <laughs> it takes off on you. You've had it. I'm gonna put some oh, let's put this on here. Right. Just a little bit of that. And this, so it looks like the window is over there on the corner of the house all right no uh, what do you think <laughs> oh dear why did i do that i don't know it's a little bit of, what do you think might be all right somebody say something
much glue on there either, so that's good. I'm going to make a chimney, put it up across there. Don't you reckon? That would look really cool. But I need it to be different. I need it to go up and out or something, you know. A wonky shaped trip <laughs> A sort of a wonky shaped chimney. I hope this doesn't turn off. I think I'll better go though now because I think I've been on here too long. Now this is going to be <coughs> smaller but in that general idea. Okay, come on. I hope this doesn't turn off. It has, if it has, I'll, I'm so sorry. I'll be back on to finish it though and do more to it, I promise you, in a few days. That way, yes. It looked like it was going somewhere else <laughs> to another place. Hang on. Come back to front. Oh, look. There we go. Look, look, look. Chimney. Okay. That's what it needed. Little chimney. I'm going to put him on there. I hope I can get a... Oh, now I'm not in the shot again. What on earth am I doing? I'm going to have to go back out again. Sorry, people. I've got a chimney now. Every time I look up there, I'm not I'm not right. I hope this worked out okay. If you want me to do... Well, I'm going to be doing more houses, so hopefully. Right. Okay. That, that, that'll work when I get to it. Don't, don't worry. It'll work. Okay, so thank you, everybody, for watching. And I hope you come back and will join me to we'll finish this nice cover for your journal. Slow stitched. Okay, talk to you later. Bye-bye.